everyone to this presentation. We are going to be considering booster plate connection for the truss design, just like this, and as well, we will be considering the base plate and as well as anchor bolt as it hold down the trusses on the reinforced concrete columns, just like this. So, we are going to be designing this as well. We also see how to design the uh, polarized connection successfully. Okay, so if I should minimize this, this is the main structure in the proto suit, just like this. Okay, so we are considering the design of the uh, connections in this presentation. So let's toss make progress. So I will have to navigate to this side. All right, so having come here, we will be starting with the booster plate connection so we will be using this micro so you have just have to select this micro by left clicking on it once select the primary member which is the top cord and the two secondary members which is the vertical and as well as the uh diagonal right click to place the booster plate connections just like that okay so the same thing is applicable to every other joint okay just like this okay Select the top cord and then you have that. So coming to you know providing it in this position, you need to shift the vertical inside very much to be able to place it successfully. Okay. But before then we will place the polarized connections. So for the polarized connections, at first you need to do some settings which we have to right click on the polarized micro, which is this one, right click on it to bring up the dialog. Just like this, so once you have the dialog, you can be able to select the support type, okay? And it's angle type, all right? You need an angle type, and each time you select angle type, make sure the reverse is clicked, just like this. After which, click on it, apply that, okay? Left click once on it, all right? Then select the top cord, select the polarize, right click to place it, just like this, okay? Just like this, so this something. Procedure is applicable to every other one successfully. So the last thing we are going to be considering is the plate right here and the anchor bolts. Okay, that hold down the trust on the reinforced concrete columns. All right. So what we need to do, we have to actually omit this in such a way that we see all the four sides of the reinforced concrete column just like this. So that first we will be placing the plates. So for the plates, you have to navigate to these options where you have a plate click right there and then you have to pick the four corner of the reinforced concrete columns just like this all right so right click and interrupt that so select that if you notice it is clashing with the column so you have to hold the control key and then w to either bring it up or bring it down okay so we want it down just like this so it is fully embedded inside the reinforced concrete column as you can see so this will now require us to cut this up so that we will avoid the clashing so to cut it come over to this provision use this tool click right there so the cut the depth of cut we consider to be 300 click on it select part and point so we are cutting the reinforced concrete column so it is the reinforced concrete column we are going to select just like this then you mark the point okay so we Pick from that point, this point, this other point, this one, and then come back to the first point and click to cut that part off. Okay, so it's been cut off. All right, so if we check very well now, it's no longer clashing. This is good. The next thing we are going to be considering is the uh, bolts. Okay, the bolts. So we use bolt to create an opening after which we now apply the anchor bolt successfully so for you to create an opening click on this provision where you have a board macros so after we select the object you want to place the board which is the plate right click to activate it so pick the first point go all the way to the last point and then in this options click on ok right click and interrupt that select this board then click on that then in the boat group dialog over here, what we are looking at is hole, all right? So the diameter of boat is 20, we just go by this, you can change it, all right? Come over to 32, the boat tolerance we have it to be 2, right there, okay? So, so the settings over there, 
we don't have anything to say. They have moved straight away to positions. The positions in the first position is 50 from the edge of the plate. We have 50 right there. Then the distance between the boat, we are going to have it to be. This time with, between the board, we are going to have it to be uh, 200 right here, just like this, and then over here we also have 200. So you have to give it a space right there. Click on apply it. So once you click on apply it, if you move this away, you see it's a board blessed successfully. But what we need is not actually board for now. We need an opening, so we'll go to setting one, select holes right there. Click on apply to create a hole right there. Click on OK option. So we are done with this. Okay, so we have all in both sides just like this. Okay. Having done this now, we want to place the anchor bolts. So right click on the anchor bolts right there, which is this one, to do some simple settings. Okay, type is going to be simple. So you can use C type, it depends. Okay. Go to the geometry. So where you can do and mix your, your necessary depth and as well as the uh, diameter of the uh, diameter of the of the boat right there we choose 20 because uh, the hole is 20 right plus 2 tolerance which is 22 millimeters right so we choose 20 right there as the diameter okay so we can use M16 okay so you can make all necessary changes there click on it apply and open so now just select the anchor boat options right there right click first and then select the plate to just place the anchor boat just like this so you have something of this kind so this is how you are trying to carry out your booster plate connections for the trusses the anchor board and plates hold on the trusses to the reinforced concrete columns and as well as the polarized connections we design this so this same procedure is going to be applied in all of the connection points in this structure successfully all right so we stop here to see you in the next presentations don't forget to like do not forget to subscribe stay connected and stay safe bye for now